All right, Shalom. I'm to the nation of Israel and to the hopeful elect. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakak All right, Yahweh is the uh, true name of the Heavenly Father, by Hashem is in the name. And Yahweh Shah is the true name of the Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, I want to give double honors to my elders and my elder apostles of Great Millstone, telling me the truth and on down. Peace and blessings to you, brothers, and to you, Akim, that's out there pushing this truth. All right, so Brother Barakim, from the GMS branch out of the Moines, I will come back at you with another video with the Holy Spirit. Okay? And uh, in this lesson, just want to go into uh, just uh, uh, being your own biggest critic, you know, and we have to be um, uh, coaches upon ourselves. You know, we have to be on top of our own selves, you know, and, and that's what's going to allow us to uh, to grow, you know, and, and, and discipline ourselves to, to, to move on to the next level, you know. Uh, but, you know, uh, with that being said, Lord's will in this video is edifying. And I want to start off with this in the book of James, chapter one, and verse 21. It says, wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of, of naughtiness and receive meekness, the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. OK, so uh, before <clears throat> let's get this. Uh, let's get this word superfluity. All right, because this is uh, this is a key word within this uh, precept. So the definition, it says uh, residue. It says remains. It says the wickedness uh, remaining over in the Christian from his state prior to conversion. OK, so those remains that residue are right, is that old man that you uh, uh, those old uh, that old man or those old characteristics that you used to have before uh, 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 coming into the knowledge of you being an Israelite, man. OK, so whether it was uh, laziness, uh, um, uh, procrastination, you know, uh, slothfulness. Uh, having uh, 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 ill against your brother, uh, so on and so forth, and we, we we're coming in a state of uh, 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 of godliness. So we have to cut those, uh, um, cut off those remains, man. Cut off that residue, man. All right, getting those stains uh, uh, out of ourselves, man. You know, because like I said, we're coming in a state of godliness, and we're uh, we're reforming our minds. Okay, as the scripture says, it says, uh, <clears throat> it says, be ye transformed by the renewing of uh, the spirit of your mind. OK, and that's a uh, and that's a daily thing, man. That's not something that just happens one day. All right. And then you the next couple uh, the next week or the next couple of days, you know, you're going back to being that old nigga. You know, no. Hey, we, we, we're coming into like I said, we keep we're coming into a, a, a godly state, man. OK. So we have to cut off the, that access, the, those remains. All right. And, it's the, and the only way we can do that is by uh, uh, applying this word or right? uh, 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 knowing this word, man. And walking and walking in this word, okay, because this is the uh, this is life. These words are uh, life unto us, man. All right, this is the wisdom and the understanding that, that has been given unto us, our uh, uh, the Israelites, okay. Uh, that we need to uh, to to be saved, man. It says this is the grafted word to save our souls, okay. So we need this word. Right? We should we should be yearning for this word, okay. But uh, let's see. Uh, it says it right here. It says, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving your own selves. So we have to uh, we have to be applying these words, man. You know, that's the only way <clears throat> that we can be uh, 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 re reformed in our minds, man. You know, that's the reforming process is by applying these words day by day, you know. And of course, we're going to uh, fail. Uh, we're going to fall uh, here and there. But it says a righteous man falls seven times and, and get it up again. OK. So it's just a constant battle, man. It's the battle that we've uh, been put on this uh, 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 this earth to fight. All right. But uh, from there, let's jump over to. Um, um, it's like, yeah. This is Sirach chapter one and verse uh, 21. It says, the fear of the Lord driveth away sins, and where it is present, it turneth away wrath. Okay, so this is where it starts. It starts with the fear of the Lord, all right? Because having that fear, all right, is going to drive away those sins. It's going to drive away that, that slothfulness, okay? Knowing what the Lord can uh, can do, okay? We can read uh, uh, all throughout the scriptures, you know, the, the judgment that the Lord uh, uh, brought down, man, okay? Hey, we, we don't want to be a part of uh, uh, the Lord's judgment, all right, so we uh, so we uh, so we should uh, examine ourselves, man. Okay, and it's a constant, like I said, it's a constant examination. You know, disciplining ourselves to to be better. You know, to grow. You know, just being, like I said, uh, like I said at the beginning, being a coach unto ourselves. Okay, 
But it, like I said, it all starts with the fear of the Lord. It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning uh, uh, of wisdom and knowledge, man. All right. So let's get a. Uh, oh, whoops. Let's actually go back to the blue letter. Uh, let's jump over to the book of uh, 2 Corinthians, chapter 13. And. Um, and at verse five, it says, it says, examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith, prove your own selves. It says, know ye not your own selves that uh, how that Yahweh Shah Mashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. OK, hey, so so we so we should know ourselves. We should know the things that uh, um, we should know our qualities. Basically, you know, we should know our characteristics. We should know uh, um, what uh, what makes us. Uh, uh, slothful or what makes us lazy this that and the third we should know uh, um, what brings us down you know so on and so forth man okay but we should combat that with the uh, with the precepts okay we should we, we, we have to combat uh, uh, these different uh, characteristics the, the, uh, that not I mean those uh, those residue characteristics are with with the scriptures man okay and we do that through the fear of Yahweh Shem Al Shah and applying the word man okay so from there, let's jump over to. Uh, and this is not this is not going to be long either. This is going to be quick, straight to the point. <clears throat> this is a uh, second Timothy uh, chapter three. In uh, verse 16, it says all scripture is given by inspiration of the most high and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. OK, so we use this word. Uh, uh, to correct us, to guide us. Okay, it's an instruction uh, in righteousness, man. This word is only good. Okay, so this word is not gonna uh, 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 um, lead us astray. All right, this word is not gonna uh, put us in a, a bad, a bad, uh, a bad situation. Okay, and this word is only gonna do uh, do good for us, man. You know, and it says what it's for correction. It says that uh, that this uh, that the word of the Most High is sharper than any two-edged sword. Hey, 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 sometimes it hurts, you know, getting corrected. Hey, but it's needed, though. <laughs> understand. We have to understand that uh, that this word or, or or correction that come that coming from the either the word or, or another brother or, or from the uh, from the Lord himself. It says that he um, he chastises. Uh, um, it says uh, despise not the chast chastening of the Lord. It says uh, he chastises you as he uh, do with sons. Uh, lest you be bastards, you know, just roughly paraphrasing. You know the uh, the precept. All right, so so uh, understanding that correction is 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 good for us, man. We we need it. You know, it's the only way that we, that's gonna. It's on the only only way that's gonna allow us to be put on another level. You know, to 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 grow. You know, because it's all about just growing, man. You know. But uh, uh from here I'm gonna get this precept. <clears throat> uh, actually, it's like it just bear with me real quick. Uh, this is uh first Timothy chapter four and verse sixteen. It says, Take heed unto the unto thyself. Okay, take heed unto thyself, which means uh, examine thyself. Okay, it says and, and unto the doctrine. All right, it says, Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Okay, so just continuing in this in this word. Are right, listening to the uh, 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 listening to the precepts and performing them. Okay, listening to a, a, a brother that's over you, that's telling you certain things that you need to correct and performing them, uh, uh, executing them. All right, I, 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 it's a word that uh, that um, my, bas my basketball coach used to tell me. You know, execute the play, execute the play. You know, we have to execute these precepts. You know, and that's how we're going to get to a, to the next to the next level, man. You know. Cause like I said, you know, it's just about growing, man. It's, it's about cutting off that old man, and, and moving on to the next level, moving on to that godly state, man. You know, getting closer and closer to the state of uh, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know. Uh, but uh, that's all I really had though in the spirit. You know, just want to be a quick lesson straight to the point. Uh, quick uh, exhorting video, Lord's willing. This video was uh, edifying and, and exhorting. All right. Uh, with that being said, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rechakwadash. Double honest to my elders and my elder apostles of great millstone, telling me the truth and on down. Peace and blessings to you, brothers, and to you, Akinah, Satha, pushing the truth. All right. Until next time, Shalom.